So Maria, what are the research themes then in the school? Our research themes are maternal and child health, mm -hmm. chronic illness and palliative care, okay. and education and practice. Mm -hmm. And shall I tell you a little please, more yes, about that? Okay. Um, so maternal and child health is um, a theme that encompasses, in the first instance, early intervention and prevention work. Mm -hmm. So some of our work actually is about relationship and sexuality education in schools. And I think our innovation here really is actually including work especially targeted to young boys and men, mm -hmm. including actually young men in prisons who may, not, who may have missed out on opportunities yeah. for relationship and sexuality education. Then also we moved to midwifery research, which is about making pregnancy and childbirth the best start in life for all. So Maria Healy's work on the development of midwifery-led units in Northern Ireland and across Europe comes to mind. But also perhaps um, Jenny McNeil's and Fiona Lynn's work, which is about combining midwifery antenatal care with early years support traditionally offered by health visitors and bring these two things together to create continuity of care for new mums and their partners in the community. And, um, oh, Anne Grant's work comes to mind as well, actually, because her work is particularly interesting because it's about patients, or mothers and fathers with mental illness. Mm -hmm. But it's the approach that's interesting because it's about family-focused care. So it brings together an intervention that combines um, an approach for both children and the parents, improving understanding of mental illness, but also just improving relationships Oh, brilliant. And in that way, improving mental health. Um, then moving to chronic illness and palliative care. Um, I suppose we have a very strong program of research now in the field of cardiology, including my colleagues Donathan Simons, Lorena Hill, David Thompson and Chantal Ski. And maybe a central plank of work that runs through their um, research is about improving the self-efficacy of patients to manage their own chronic illness around cardiology. And uh, their work has informed European clinical guidelines, but also health services research development right across the UK, but Australia and internationally. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, another area of interest within chronic illness and palliative care is around caregivers or informal caregivers or family caregivers who sometimes have neglected needs in relation to caring for patients. So my colleague Olinda Santine has worked very closely with Macmillan and other cancer charities to first of all, I suppose, understand better the needs of caregivers and then develop an intervention to help them cope with the caregiving roles that we all want to give to the people we love when they are either going through a chronic illness or at end of life. Um, our palliative care research, I think, is particularly important as well because well, I think the innovation here in particular has been about um, taking the palliative care approach which developed originally in cancer care, but implementing it in complex settings. So for example, Kevin Brazil's work has been important because it's been working with patients with dementia in care homes, mm -hmm. nursing care homes, and using a supportive decision-making pathway in care homes to help patients with dementia and their caregivers to uh, make decisions about their end of life. Similarly, um, Helen, Helen Noble's work is very important in this regard because it's about implementing a palliative care approach in kidney dialysis units really in Northern Ireland but also across the UK with her um, other university partners. So now um, to our last theme or our newly emerging theme in fact in research and education practice. And this theme is all about finding out the best ways in which we can teach education, um, nursing and midwifery education. And um, important studies underway in this area are, for example, from my colleague Karen McCutcheon, who conducted an important randomised control trial comparing online learning with blended learning um, to teach clinical supervision skills. And um, also my colleague Marion Trainer has a study underway which is all about um, developing the best selection processes for bringing in students into nursing and midwifery and with a close eye to social diversity there and seeing how we can improve that in nursing and midwifery.